here's the harness that I made last night or took all the excess out of. I'm sure there's probably going to be more out of this one that I don't need. Maybe even that one. Uh, but what I'm going to do this morning is here's the engine harness, you know, the injectors and everything. I want to see where this goes. I need to save that wire. I uh, need to see where it hooks to on this one. I don't have a pin out for that. Um, and this one here. Wait, oil pressure light. Coolant temp. So I'm going to figure that out. We've eliminated that. The only two left are the oil pressure and coolant temp sender wires. That's all I needed out of this plug that went to the main harness that is now on a pile over there. But that's all it left. Um, I wouldn't have had to do it that way if I had a pen out diagram that had these connectors on it, but I didn't. So we did it this way and ended up working. Uh, I'm not going to loom it until I get it plugged in and make sure everything works. So we'll have to pull it back out of the car, but that's the lesser of the evils. I don't want to have to do it twice. I've been down that road before. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to pull the lower intake since the upper intake is off and reseal that it's got a leak at the back of it and probably gonna paint the upper intake stuff like that you know might as well do it while i'm here i would regret it later if i didn't but yeah i think the saga for this harness is over knock on wood best case scenario we put it back in and everything works and then i pull it back out and loom it up all pretty um, those four wires are the ones the fuel pump and that stuff I will shorten them, lengthen them uh, according to what I need. But knock on wood, this part of the harness job is done. So this is that ugly transmission harness from earlier. Got it cleaned up and relumed it. Use the tech fuck stuff. It's nice. I gotta locate the bracket and I saved these clips. So I'm going to reclip it to the bracket uh, once I get it located back in the vehicle. Lower intake is back on, torqued, new thermostat, new injector O-rings, cleaned up this, these pipes and we made, a, we made a bracket. This one was broke, so we made a bracket for that. My good friend, who is a fabricator and is awesome, made that for me. I'm um, going to get ready to start putting the Terminator stuff on. I'm going to put the coolant temp sensor right there. Lay out the injector harness. Uh, maybe put the dual sink in. It's not too late tonight, so we'll see. Um, but I'm going to start laying it out. Finally. First sensor is in, coolant temp sensor. I never thought a coolant temp sensor would make me so excited, but here we are. I gotta admit it looks pretty weird seeing the intake on it again. It's been a little while. I just threw one bolt in it, one bolt in the throttle body just to make sure my routing is gonna be correct and kinda initial layout. Um, of what I want where, uh, what I'm going to need to make it, you know, clean. Um, yeah, so far so good. Got the injectors going that way, injectors going that way, coolant temp sensor that way. 
oil pressure down that way in front of the engine. IAC here, it's not really plugged in. And the TPS sensor's back there. I haven't pinned it yet or anything. But initially I'm gonna have it follow this coolant tube up here and then come back into this hole down here. But it's laying out pretty good so far. The coolant temp sensor for the gauge, this guy right here, excuse the paint, I totally forgot to take it out when I painted it. Uh, these, this is the wire I was talking about a lot. Um, goes back to the cluster. I think I'm going to piggyback on this plug, which is oil pressure for the sniper, or, sorry, for the terminator, um, which I don't have the proper sensor for it yet, so I'm going to use the stock one, which I would keep that also, um, but I would put a T down there or something, I haven't even really looked at it. Uh, but I think I'm going to piggyback this wire and this wire along this harness and then back that way to pick up the factory harness. Um, so these are the two wires I've talked about a lot and I think I'm going to follow it back that way. It just depends on how the dual sink fits and if there's enough room, which there probably is. Uh, but that's the initial layout thought this way. I may also tuck it's the IAC, tuck this down here, kind of like this. I'm, but I gotta take the bolts out and, and just kind of see if that'll hold it instead of, instead of it flopping around, you know, take up a lot of the slack. Um, I'll give that a whirl. And then I may go with what I said before, a soft shell or something, but uh, we'll see when I figure it out, I will record it. So there is enough room. See the wires back there. I haven't loomed them or anything, um, but there's enough room for them to run that way and still have some room with the dual sink. So it looks like that might be the way I go. Alright, that's much better. I uh, ran the wire behind the fuel rail for the injectors and then they came up and kind of under. Looks much better, fits much better. I did the same thing on the other side. The main harness, I may pull the throttle, the throttle connector, the IAC through here, and then run the coolant temp sensor out here. Uh, I don't really want to lay anything, lay everything on this, on these coolant pipes here. Uh, the dual sink wire may have to come out there, um, but I'll fool with that tomorrow. Um, I'm very happy with the, the way the injector is laid out and kind of figuring out the routing to the two sensors, um, but I'll admit I'm a little over it right now. It's like 85 degrees in here. So I think I'm done for the night. Time to play some Minecraft Dungeons. But overall, getting the intake down tonight. The ejector harness kind of figured out. Oil pressure, coolant temp, wiring kind of laid out. Pretty happy. Um, I do think there is gonna be enough room in here for the connectors I want to kind of keep them tidy and out of the way. Uh, but we'll see when it's hopefully not 85 degrees in here. Alright, on to the next day.